Denver's mayor says the city's doors open to migrants. With that in mind, local nonprofits helped 55 migrants bust to Denver from the border earlier this week. New Mexico's governor says right now she knows of no plans to send any more immigrants to Colorado. Michael Beta has been looking into this, how nonprofits have been helping out with this. And Michael, will we be seeing busloads of asylum seekers on a regular basis? Well, Karen, probably not. But if more immigrants do decide to come to Denver, there are plenty of local churches and nonprofits ready to help out. We walked a lot. We, you know, we didn't sleep. We didn't eat sometimes. Saturino Escalante and his son arrived in Denver Monday morning after a long journey. They were two of 55 immigrants from Central America seeking asylum that were sent to Colorado churches and nonprofits from New Mexico. Organizations down there have been trying to help connect them with family and friends in the United States. And what we're doing is we're helping them connect to their family and their friends and their support networks here in the U.S. The governor of New Mexico paid about $4,000 for a bus to be chartered up to Denver because their state is being overwhelmed by asylum seekers released from custody by the federal government. A spokesperson for the governor's office in New Mexico says they're not trying to burden the state of Colorado. They're just trying to help organizations in their state dealing with the humanitarian crisis. I've had conversation with the mayor of Albuquerque, for example, and they were seeing as close to a thousand people uh, a month coming into their city. Denver Community Church helped 23 people from 10 families. In addition to giving them sanctuary, their faith community donated food, water, and clothing to the refugees. We do everything in our power to reflect and put hands and feet on the love and mercy and compassion of God that we that informs our faith as a church. And so whatever that means for us in our city, in our world, in our country, uh, we believe that's our first response and really our only response. Now, Governor Polis's office says no state resources were given to transport or help those immigrants. He also said they didn't get any warning or heads up that those immigrants were coming. The New Mexico governor's office says that's because it was an emergency decision made on a Sunday. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First.